green, luscious, leafy, and most importantly, nutritious. These bountiful heads of lettuce are getting ready to hit the cafeteria in Burke County Schools. So what we have, we basically plant in a three-step process. The first process, the first part of the process is we just plant in these seed trays. There are 100 seed seed trays. The way this lettuce is grown is far from ordinary. Farmer Doug Dogen started up Fish Heads Aquaponics with his wife more than a year ago after watching a 60-minute special on the operation. The lettuce is grown combining nutrients from fish to hydroponics, growing plants in water. We just did not have green thumbs, so when we got into this, um, we had some trepidation to say the least because we had just never done anything like this. The couple built this Chinese passive solar greenhouse in Sardis and connected with an aquaponics company in Hawaii. They were mentored through the process, a process different from any other farm in the area. What happens is we come here and it's all cash crops. We couldn't get any fresh vegetables. You'd have to go all the way to Augusta to really get fresh vegetables. And so that planted the seed, but uh, we never thought about it much three years later. We're in Sardis, Georgia, and um, just decided that uh, that's what we were going to give it a try. This type of lettuce has 10 times more nutrients than iceberg lettuce, which means healthier lunches for students at Burke County Schools. Now the lettuce is being sold in Augusta and Statesboro, and the Dogens just started working with their school system to supplement salads and daily meals. This lettuce grows and it's still alive and it floats in water until we harvest it. As a former teacher herself, Lisa is taking the opportunity as a farmer to educate students about eating healthy. Children need to know more about nutrition and it gave me a platform to go into schools and work with children and teach them about healthier eating, partner with schools on educational tours, bringing them through, teaching them the different stages. Young students like Nevaeh Speaks chose side salads with their lunch and even ate them first. Because it's my favorite. Wellness dietitian Brianna Dumas has been a driving force to get more farm fresh foods on the tables for students and staff. We live in a very rural community, but Georgia alone does a lot of agriculture and we wanted to really tap into that. Duma says the Farm to School initiative started small with fruits, but the program is growing to encompass sides and main dishes. The beauty about the Farm to School is that we're able to keep the money local and we're able to introduce lots of new, fresh, very fresh produce to our kids. The school system does a program in conjunction with local farmers during the school year. In the spring, third and fourth graders go to farms and plant foods, and in the fall, they go back to the same farm and harvest what they planted. They're able to learn the science and math behind it, um, as well as tying it into something so simple and so incredible as farming. Along with adding fish heads to the list of local suppliers, Burke County Schools began working with two new farmers in the area for the fall. They will supply collards, corn on the cob, and sweet potatoes. Know that children are eating a quality of food that is better for them versus, you know, some of the food that is shipped in that's loaded with chemicals and pesticides and preservatives. We hope that we can encourage other school districts to do the same thing because it is such a learning opportunity um, for the children uh, as well as, you know, supporting that local agriculture.